Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And Google has released Android 13 Beta QPR 2. Now, what is the new features? Any hidden features? That is what we're going to cover in this video. So on the right, we have the Google Pixel 6a. This is running your Android 13 QPR 2 Beta 1. And this on the left is your stock Android 13 right now, December patch, not a beta. This is the stable build on my Google Pixel 5. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. The first change you will notice is that the emergency button on your pin entry is a bit bigger as compared to android 13 and then the next change you will notice is that your now playing has actually moved a bit up next up we have some changes with respect to pixel launcher and the padding so you will notice that the widget on your android 13 qpr 2 beta 1 is a bit more towards the center of the screen so this padding over here has increased the same thing can be said for the folders as well so the padding from the edge of the screen has definitely increased in the latest android 13 qpr2 beta the next change you will notice is when you tap on this folder so if i tap on the folder even within this folder you're going to notice that from the edges the padding is a bit more and then the text of the folder so as you can see google over here is small and here it is bigger and another change you will notice is that in the latest beta the folder this text small text about google is totally hidden and here then you can see google and google so that is another small minute change in this latest android 13 qpr2 beta then if you press and hold on any application which has widgets so let us do that for chrome and then i go into the chrome option you will see that the one on the right is more one handed friendly so of course it has all shifted down and then the widgets are also in two rows over here you have a single row here and you have two rows now surprisingly this change hasn't made it over to the widget picker so here it is you can see over here it is still a single row but if you go into the widget section of that specific application you will see the change of it shifting down and two separate rows next change you will notice is in the quick settings panel so let us swipe down for starters your battery has disappeared and i am seeing the until on both of them but for the next swipe you will notice a major difference for starters your emergency calls only or your carrier will be on top so that is a separate row your notifications and time is another row then your time has gone bigger so over here on the left time is bigger and the date and the day is below that which is totally opposite of what you have on the left then another change i noticed is in settings and once you are in settings you can go into the display option and here and if you go into the screensaver option and then when to start you will notice that on the right which is your android 13 qpr2 beta we have two options while charging and while docked and charging whereas on your android 13 stable we have three different options so while charging while docked and while charging or docked next change you will notice is in your media player so this is my quick setting styles i have expanded it i have my media player every time i pause and play you will notice that you have a little shimmering effect in your album art and that can be seen even if you are going through your progress bar you play and pause the music or you like the music or you move over to the next piece of music which you have on your android device next up we can talk about some device specific changes which google added with the latest android 13 qpr beta 1 so pixel 6 pro users you should now be able to see the option of 1080p in your settings and display then those of you who have the pixel 7 and the pixel 7 pro i think they have added support for carrier aggregation for t-mobile and you will also see 5g support for countries wherein it was not supported earlier then 
Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro will also see the option of spatial audio in settings and sound and vibration and while we are in settings sound and vibration we can go into vibration and haptics Pixel 6a owners might see a new toggle called adaptive alert vibration and they say that it reduces vibration strength while your phone is still and the screen is facing up so I guess they've gotten complaints about the bad vibration motor on the pixel 6a series which is why they added this toggle to reduce the intensity of the vibration motor next up let us talk about some hidden features which are present in this beta and are not enabled out of the box i do have the commands in the description of the video for some of the features which i was able to enable so for starters you have a section of battery health in settings and battery which is of course going to tell you your battery health and in addition to that it will show you how to improve or increase your battery life then if you go into the screen recorder from your quick setting tile at the bottom over here right besides the start option you might get an option for app which will let you record your screen within a specific application then another feature which i was personally able to enable is if you go into settings sound and vibration you have separate sliders for your ring volume and notification volume yes hallelujah finally google is listening and adding a very basic feature so the command to enable this is present in the description you will need to have your adb access and do note this slider different between your notification and volume slider does go away after a reboot so you might have to execute the command again then another pretty awesome feature is let us say i open my application drawer and here and i tap on the search bar and right now if i say i type in g so gmail open i press the enter key bam here it is i can open gmail directly and similarly let us say i type in youtube youtube open press the enter key bam i can open youtube directly without having to type in the whole word again you have two commands for these mentioned in the description of the video and make sure you do reboot your device after you execute those two adb commands and then the next hidden feature is you have a new back gesture as in the back arrow is no longer ugly it has a material u background now unfortunately at the time of recording this video i was not able to enable that feature however if you are able to enable this feature do let me know via comments below and then last but not the least your targets to uninstall an application or say remove a shortcut have been moved to the bottom of the screen as well again me personally i could not enable this feature but do let me know in the comments below if you are able to enable this feature and there it is peeps those are the new features and the hidden features of the latest android 13 qpr2 beta 1